<laughs> Hi guys. So we are doing our walkthrough on our property that we are purchasing the house. So here is the front. It is like an 1851 or I don't, I'm not positive the date, but it's totally been remodeled farmhouse. So this is kind of what the outside looks like. So we have just a really long house, but what we're looking for is storage, <laughs> storage, storage, storage. So, so let's go inside. We did not know our realtor is a chatterbug. Karen and Chris are is they're both chatterbugs. So I'm probably gonna do a lot of voice overing here. So this is the original part of as you can tell by the archway of the farmhouse. This would be considered the living room. Um this is the walkthrough where you go through and you make sure that everything is what you think it's going to be. She still has one more weekend to get a lot of the stuff out. Um, but my OCD, if some, when the person buys our house, I won't leave holes in the wall. That's just how I am. And, you know, it's hard to match up colors. But anyway... Okay, I, we'll see see if those get filled, but any it's it is what it is. I'm not I'm not a blue person and that's a gray blue in this area. Um it has the hard part for me is where to put my hutches. I'm going to end up having to sell some of my hutches because there's so many beautiful windows in this house. And this is a little closet underneath the steps, but this is where you can there again see the original part of the house. This is the stairs that original stairs that went upstairs which will probably close off i don't want our kitty cats getting stuck up there by any means or in any of this kind of stuff there's the one bath in the front of the house and then there's the master bath in the second part of the house um which most of it was totally remodeled but the shower unit um at first i thought it was almond but it almost has that pinkage hue to it so that's a project on the to-do list it is kind of weird to walk through a bathroom, but this will actually be my office space, y'all. Yep, my office space. So it's nice, it's heated, it's pretty. I like the color in here. Um, yeah, so you can see the original foundation. So this was added on. But the nice thing about it is it has an outer door that would just go to the pole barn, to the studio. Yeah, <laughs> so that's where that corner desk um, that I'm keeping would be handy because that would be here and I can have all my craft supplies. And yes, please, a uh, little thing, my OCD, my OCD right there. You can run it down, you can run it down like 5%. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Wouldn't thing those be cool to wrap? Not a word, like that. Mm -hmm. Just say, yeah, and then you guys transfer gas. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So. Usually, when it's an own tank. So weird that they didn't paint that white, property. though. I don't know why they didn't paint that white. That's unfinished I mean, wood. I think that would look so much better painted white. It, well, you know what? It would be. It's going to be a pain in the rumpus. I, I wonder why, though, too. Everybody say hi to Karen, our realtor. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, like you said, you know. No, what, I, what I'm thinking is if we, if we can get some, we can hold back some money in escrow. For. I mean, it's silly because you got... I told you. Chatterbugs. <laughs> anyway, I have never used gas before in my life. A dual... Uh, that Wouldn't that have been nice when the kids were growing up? It would be great to host. Definitely great to host. A nice farmer sink. A nice metal sink. I love the way those clean up. Um, 
just to me it's really fancy everything seems so fancy the refrigerator seems fancy <laughs> I'm like what is this <laughs> yeah this is way fancy and then this is like an extra little back area room which will be perfect for our extra refrigerator and freezer and probably where we'll keep our kitties litter boxes since our laundry room is out in the open they had a pet door we're going to remove that door so the cats we don't have to worry about anything we're not taking it into the basement because it's just it's it's a it's an okay basement where we don't need that for storage at all So, that's the older part. This is just a small bedroom, newer carpet. My bow flex, my workout room. <laughs> this is where the original staircase. So this is where the original staircase came in, bookshelf. Um, it does not have central air. So we have to put but it's a little extra storage. Fanciest. You know what? Do you do you guys um it's on Mock Road and she had those air conditioning units that look like a dehumidifier. Yes, I have one of those. Yeah, and so because she didn't want it to block the whole window. Yeah, we got yeah. yeah. I was so impressed because she only had one upstairs and one on the main floor. Yeah, we have one in our pole barn. He lived in, didn't have air at all, so we gave one away. So, is this like a, this is like a bluish gray, isn't it? Yeah, I don't mind this. I, I'm not a blue fan. The downstairs, the blue fan. Mm -hmm. But this yep. shade is a little bit. <laughs> So my son's room is, is uh, like this, where they ran the, one of my bedrooms has knocked down. It's a, also a fan. Oh my gosh, it's so fancy. Which really... Because this would have been really the only spot for your bed. It would have been nice if they would have built it in one of these corners, you know. <laughs> it turns to disassemble it's pretty disassembled the only bad thing about in here is all the windows where do you put a king size bed that's a decision because they put the only spot for the closet which is nice to have the closet but we'll figure we'll figure that out and it's really green <laughs> it's very green it's all it's all good it's all Very good. So this would be the master. Master bedroom. So do, 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 do. <laughs> like, I wish I had a pool. Yeah, I have a hot tub. Well, I turned it all the way down to 85 and it's still 90 because it's yeah. holding the temperature. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So this garage is huge. I, we believe that it was probably the original barn and then they attached it to the house. We're just guesstimating. It's got three car bays in it. One that's um, pretty tall on the side that Chris's van would fit in because the other two bays, his van would not fit in. He drives a transit van, but it's just a huge space. So I have a space for eBay. Um, I have an extra space for... Um, storage our finished goods he has an area to put his bar area that he you know he collects Budweiser things there's a half bath in here I mean so when we were looking for storage space we were looking for usable space to do what we do and this area was perfect and then having a, a little bathroom that you don't have to go all the way in the house when you've got paint or your shoes are dirty all the time a little half bath is nice I love the sink um, there's no hot water out here, but at least I can rinse, you know, my paint brushes out here and not having to take it into the house. So this is why the house seems so long. So you have the original 1851 house. You have the add-on of the second bath and the laundry room. You have the little entryway that connects the garage to the house. And then you have that back little bump out that is my office. 
and just a little deck out here that needs some TLC. I just had to giggle. They tried to do some landscaping where they just threw mulch over grass and <laughs> threw some field stones, but that's okay. It's a blank slate for me. Um, so there are some some perennials and stuff, but I told you there are so many projects at this house. You guys will be overwhelmed probably with videos when we get started. <laughs> The house doesn't have central air. It is hooked up to a wood burner. The wood burner heats the pole barn and there is propane, but the wood burner also heats the house if you want it to be. So of course, cost efficient, you'd want to burn wood. And since Chris works for a pallet company, he can get a lot of wood to burn up and it, they did are leaving the wood pile with this house. Fortunately, there's a lot of little piles like this where they just threw stuff on the ground and the foliage grew over it, which is great habitat for little critters. That's why on our property, we've always tried to keep things clear. This is the uh, one of the barns anyway. So when we're going to enter here, this what I would have considered like the farm office maybe um, it is where I would like to keep our unfinished pieces so it, they would not be taking up so much room in the workshop. It needs a complete overhaul. It is not insulated. Well, kind of insulated with styrofoam, but that's not good insulation. So that totally is one on our top 10 of taking care of. And then um, the electrical all needs to be reworked. But I'm so excited because I see one of the arched doors for that interior. <gasps> be still my heart. I was so super excited. Now if we can only find the other one, if the other one has made it life to still be living on still have one more weekend because oh my gosh there's still I don't want to have to deal with a cast iron tub there's a lot of wood here there's just bits and pieces I you know I'm new to holding my phone up so you're gonna see my finger I'm so sorry but yeah I'm like oh come on I you know there's so many other projects we want to do um, and start working on that cleaning out other people's stuff is not what we want to start doing right off the bat the part we wanted to see is not opening it is not open for us oh there's to stuff in out. here too so we'll have to we'll have to so come I'm back just sitting here with my cat squirt just doing some editing yeah we did the walk through um and oh, the workshop wasn't open oh my gosh i could not believe that so we'll have to share that with you another day um you'll see this after we've done our closing and before we actually get possession of the house that's just how that all works it's the holding of money and the three days i don't really completely understand it and the type of how we are still own a house and how we're buying a house it's it's really confusing y'all but anyway so we don't take possession till the 12th so we'll have to do another tour um luckily i guess if you can look at it that our we really haven't had any interest on our house yet so keep saying your prayers y'all that oh yes that somebody is just gonna fall in love with our house and want it <laughs> Oh my gosh it makes me so nervous to own two houses at the same time so but what with that being said that'll give us a little time to work on some of the areas before we move stuff over there um so that is the journey we're on right now so you guys again thank you for hopping over checking out our new channel i hope that we're trying to keep you entertained um it's just a very exciting anxious time for Chris and I right now. So thanks for watching and we will see you next time and you can see what we're up to. Bye.